Lisa, welcome to Thank Us you. Weekly, all the way from Dubai. All the way from Dubai, <laughs> I 15 love it. hours. 15 hours. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how, how you do it. it. Worth it to see you. Yes, totally. Well, you look fabulous. <laughs> you too. Um, Thank you. How was how everything going? I saw the first three episodes. Did you like it? I loved it. Okay, good. I loved it. Okay, good. You know I love it when my biggest drama is who's the VIP at the Beyonce. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Everyone seems to love that. I we love were that. so serious <laughs> about that. I think we took it so seriously that the producers were like, this is just... It's comedy. TV gold. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So who really was the VVIP? So Ayan and I were in <laughs> yes. VVIP, VVIP and the <laughs> others were somewhere getting splashed and wet. <laughs> I love it. Did you chat with Beyonce? We didn't. Okay. And I would have loved to because yes. Mina Rowe, my right. luxury yes. brand, we mm -hmm. dressed her twice. So I was like looking out for her. But no, she was in like the VVVIP. Oh, yes. <laughs> We Chanel, get there. Right, Chanel did say that she had a moment with Tina Knowles, though, so that's always she fun. Did. Yes, yeah, I yeah, love that yeah. so much. Super fun. So Super fun. fun. So is it fun to be back? Did you feel more comfortable going into the season after 100%. having season one? Of, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think season one, I always say, was like the warm up. Yeah. And season two, I feel like we. Uh, we were ready to yeah, go. You're ready to go. And we we showed up to you work. Did we show. clocked in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we clocked yes, in. you did. I mean, yeah. was there anything coming off of the reunion that you really wanted to settle going into season two that you wanted to explore more? See, for me, I don't really like conflict. I know, I know, I know. That sounds <laughs> that sounds crazy. Sure. But I genuinely don't like conflict. So when after reunion, I felt like conversation between Stember and I needed to happen, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, she did apologize to me. And so I went in initially like, okay, if you say you're sorry, I'm gonna take it for what it is sure. until you prove otherwise. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's pretty much what yeah. happened. Yeah. Did she prove otherwise? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> a snake may change your skin. Uh -huh. but there'll always be a snake. Uh, there'll always be a yeah. snake. But it does seem like she and Chanel, Caroline and Chanel, yeah. did put their past in the past. It seems like they are really good friends now. Are did they? that? I mean, you probably know more than <laughs> I do. <laughs> we'll get to it. But did that take you? It seems like it kind of took you by surprise. It did take me by surprise, mm -hmm. um, in some ways more than others. But I think um, overall, I think. I'm not buying into it, yeah. you know? That's mm -hmm. that's the only thing, but I'm here to tune in just like the rest of you sure. guys, because I feel like there were a lot of things that I didn't see, Okay. you know, because I'm not in all the scenes. I'm not always with them, right. and so I'm looking forward to see how this whole thing plays sure. out. Sure, what yeah. surprised you over the course of these past few episodes? Um, well, not these early episodes. Sure. I think things that come on later, okay. which you guys are gonna have to tune in to see, because I promise you, the things I know that transpired, mm -hmm mind-blowing right right um, but there are things that I didn't see that I'm trying to piece all the puzzles together to see the bigger picture sure yeah. why don't you buy that friendship well for starters um, they never liked each other mm -hmm. and I get it people can move on mm -hmm. and the whole thing but I mean Ion always told me that you know they weren't really friends yeah. at the time so maybe you know, since we haven't been friends, they've probably grown closer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm yeah. on the outside looking in like sure. the rest of you guys. Yeah. yeah. But did you, were you jealous at all of their friendship? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. Um, I'm friends with all the girls. Mm -hmm. And I've never, I'm not one of those friends that's like super possessive and territorial. <laughs> I yeah. honest. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, not at all. I mean. I never saw it as something that was genuine. I never sure. saw it as something that was going to become anything. Mm -hmm. So there was no room and space for me to be jealous. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it almost like Ayan could really have like one close friend at a time type of thing? Or no, no. Because yeah. no, I have more than one close friend. Sure. You know, I have, I always say that I compartmentalize yeah. my friendship uh -huh. groups. Like I have my mommy friends, I have my sure. super, super close friends that I've known forever. Uh -huh. And then I have my paddle friends and then I have, and so I don't necessarily put a lot of expectations on one friend okay, yeah. because I don't ever want to be disappointed sure. and I think too I feed off of different energies and I feel I give the same mm -hmm. so and even with my friendship with Ayan I've never put like you can only be friends with me like we're a friend group sure you know we all hang in the same circle we all go to the same parties mm -hmm. but we were best friends yeah. and so I think for me naturally because my loyalty was to her which is what caused the whole thing with Stanberry in mm -hmm. season one, mm -hmm. I just expected that same loyalty sure. and I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Yeah. So we disappointed then. In some ways. Mm -hmm. In some ways. So, yeah. And when I spoke to uh, Ion, she said that she was, you know, broken hearted over your of friend. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
Crimea River. Crimea River. <laughs> what do you, how do you feel about the friendship? Is it officially over? I never want to say it's over okay. because I'm sure maybe a conversation needs to happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know, at the reunion, Andy yeah. might be able to get, right. work some kind of miracle. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to say it's over forever, but I am enjoying this pause. Mm. I feel like I've grown so much from it and I'm really enjoying this like little space and where I am. Sure, yeah. what have you kind of learned about yourself, about friendship? You know in what, this? in general, I think you can't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. And I think that's probably pushed me into what I just described of like having my different friend sure. groups mm -hmm. and you know, not expecting so much from one person. Yeah. Um, I think that's taught me that. And I've also learned, um, you know, no expectations, no disappointment. Sure. You know, try mm. not to have too much expectations on one mm -hmm. person because they're human. Right. Yeah. So she says she's broken hearted over it. How, or how would I'm you not broken hearted. Not broken no, hearted. I'm okay. not broken hearted at all. Um, because I didn't do anything wrong, mm -hmm. right? So, and if I did, I'm gonna tune in like the rest of you guys <laughs> right. to see what it was, what's the big mystery. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not broken hearted, sure. I'm actually at peace. Okay. Um, and thriving. Was it a slow kind of burn to the friendship? dissolving or was no, it one it was big... like one big okay. thing yeah. um but looking back i feel like there were little things that were happening okay. that i didn't see until i was on the outside sure so i didn't realize it when i was in the situation until it was in the back in the rearview mirror okay yeah. does it have to do with caroline no, no. not really okay. not really mm -hmm. um i feel like we're all adults mm -hmm. and we are all um how do I put this? Your actions are your actions. Mm -hmm. You can't put it on somebody sure. else. Like, you know what you're doing, girl. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you cannot say, oh, uh -huh. I did this because of this person. Like, no, I can't tell her who to be friends with. She can't tell me who to be friends yeah. with. We're all adults. Right. So I wouldn't say it's because of Sandra. As, as much as she would love it to be about her, yeah. it's genuinely not. It's not. No. It, no. Do you no. see a pathway back? I know you said maybe you'll have a conversation, but do you yeah. ever see this friendship being what it was? You never know. You never know. Tune yeah. into season three. Tune in. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Do you consider Stanberry a friend? Because Chanel said that the two of you sometimes have lunch or dinner and no, hang out. No, we don't hang out. Okay. We don't hang out. No, she's lying. Okay. She's lying. But we are cool. We're okay. okay. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Like. There, I think for she and I, we have an understanding mm -hmm. that there are certain boundaries that we'll never cross. Okay. Because I feel like she really violated me mm. in the reunion in season one with all those lies. Sure. So she's apologized about those things. She's never repeated those, you know, same allegations. Mm -hmm. um, well, to my face. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, but I'm cool with her. And, okay. I, and I'm really cool with the other girls as well. Okay. You know, those two kind of at a bay. Sure. But everyone else, I'm, I'm really cool with. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of her facelift? You know what? As much as I don't like the bitch. <laughs> Her face look, looks good. I love that. Her face is like, yeah, money, well, I was going to say money well spent, but uh -huh. it was a collaboration. It was a collaboration. Collaboration <laughs> done well. Uh, well, it was funny when I was speaking to, uh, to, uh, to Chanel, she okay. said, all of my drama died with her old face, so I was wondering. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I love it. Um, but you know, we do we we do have a new housewife in yes, the mix of this season and she kind of comes off the bat pretty hot. What did, what does she kind of bring to the mix? You know what? Um Talleen is she's really fun. Yeah. And I think um we kind of needed that mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, but that's about it. She just brings the fun. She just brings the yeah, fun. Yeah, she brings the fun, Did which you, is always nice. Right. Did you understand the drama between she, Caroline, and Brooks? No. no. And I felt like it kept going and right, going. Yes. I was like, oh my gosh, guys, Let it go. drop it. It's not that deep, <laughs> not you that know? Deep. But, mm -hmm. you know, people are going to create moments wherever they can sure. and drag things for as yeah. much as they can. Mm -hmm. But, um, but no, she's, she's, she's so much fun. Sure. Yeah. You know, the, the relationship between Brooks and Stanberry seems mm -hmm. to kind of unravel within the first few episodes. One thing I'll say about um, season two, a lot of the friendship dynamics have shifted. Change. Yeah, You mm -hmm. know, a lot of people came in one way and didn't leave. Sure. And just not me and Ion, so many different friendship yeah. dynamics. I think this season in general is gonna take people on a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. We have super high highs, we have really low lows, but I think as a friend group, we really had fun. Sure. You know, we yeah. had so much fun, but obviously 
you put a bunch of type A person that well, wanna be type A's uh -huh. and type A's in a in a same setting, there's gonna be some kind sure. of drama. But we actually had so much fun yeah. this season. Good. Yeah. 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 Did Brooks was Brooks the kind of the pot stir the season? She's always she's pot always pot that little yeah. messy girl. <laughs> she's so messy. She's, she's always pot stirring. Uh -huh. But you know what I love about her? I feel like what you see is what you get. Yeah. You don't have to guess it mm -hmm. when it comes to Brooks, you know? And she she owns it. She sure. knows that's who she is. And I feel like I can I can navigate around those, mm -hmm. you know, type of people. Sure. And it's fine. Yeah. Did yeah. you feel like she was jealous of of Stanbury and uh, Chanel getting close? Um, maybe, yeah. actually, because mm -hmm. she was very close to Stanbury. Yeah. Um, so that's a possibility. That's awesome. But I don't know what it is with all of these girlfriends who just feel like they need to jump on this right. bandwagon. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she's selling something over there that we don't know. <laughs> maybe. I need to pop over to that store just to see yeah. what it is. Maybe she's giving out birthdays. I gotta <laughs> <Maybe>. see. <laughs> Um, did your mom end up moving? She hasn't moved yet, okay. but I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm taking her, after the heat dies down, because we're going to be here for the summer, nice. um, we're going to take her apartment shopping. Good. So we're still working on it, sure. fingers crossed, because I really need her. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, it's a lot, it's a of, work. lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, how, are you enjoying the soccer mom life, though? I love it. <laughs> I, I told my husband the other day that I'm going to kind of tap out of Nina Rowe okay. a little bit oh, yeah. and, you know, look to maybe selling. Wow. I don't know. Okay. But I'm really enjoying this momager yeah. role that I'm in now. It's so fun. <laughs> okay. And I don't know. I, I love devoting everything that I have to my kids. Sure. And they're so passionate about their little soccer careers. Uh -huh. And I just love it. So, yeah, I think I might hang up Mina Rowe a little bit. Really? Yeah, it's just to really focus on their careers. Okay. Yeah. Is that going to be like a really tough decision for it, you? Or yes, is, and yes and no. no. I feel like I'm already in that transitional period with okay. Mina Rowe. I yeah. feel like I've done so much for it and the brand is doing so well mm -hmm. that we're at this stage where what do we do next? Like, yeah. do we sell? Okay. Do we, you know, but I would always stay on, sure. maybe as creative director. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We're, it's with so many ideas and so many offers being thrown at us, which is such a blessing. Sure, yeah, But definitely. my kids are growing up mm -hmm. and, um, and I kind of just want to be there. Yeah. I don't want anybody else to be having their hands in their career. I'm about to get my Kris Jenner on. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah. So they're like very passionate about they're soccer. They're so serious. Yeah, so and soccer. they now play for Manchester City Academy, oh my God. which is a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really, you know, I'm like, this could be my retirement. Right. You know? <laughs> You're like, I'm putting all my money in this. Yeah. I love that. Did family dynamics shift at all after season one? It didn't. Okay, good. Um, I think with Rich and I, we... Uh, especially with the kids mm -hmm. and their new soccer career yeah. and him being such a stage dad but still working so much yeah. and not helping me when he's the one that's adding to all these, right. you know, he's adding to my, my list right. of things to do but he's not really contributing. I feel like we needed to have a few conversations mm -hmm. which were a little bit difficult because for him, he's very old fashioned. Okay. And um, he's like, listen, you chose sure. to be busy. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, actually, I did, but I didn't. Yeah. And you having them do uh, training five times a week doesn't really help me. Mm -hmm. um, so we're in a much better place. Good. But you're going to see that also play out. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So what's that one moment that you can't wait for fans to see this season? <gasps> oh, my God. There's so <laughs> many. Oh, there's so many. I, I don't know if I can count on one. I think my birthday party is pretty epic. Okay. Oh, and the launch of Mina Rose's new skincare line. Oh, very nice. That's that going to be very super exciting. Cool. I think that's the that's for me was one of the best mm -hmm. um, events that happened this season. And is there a moment that you're just going to kind of fast forward or turn uh, off? Probably the fight with Ion. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna I think be hard it's going to be really, really hard because I really, really loved her. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be hard to relive. But. I just need, I need answers, yeah. so I need to watch mm -hmm. it. Do yeah. you feel like you have a lot of questions still uh, about So what? many questions, because okay. it really came out of nowhere for okay. me. So Can I'm you give a little have... context? No, you got to tune in, girl. <laughs> if I tell you, you're I not going to see anything. You have to tune in, because to be honest, too, even if I wanted to give sure. anything, I don't know. Okay. I'm in the dark. I really need to know, because, you know, her story and her version is so different to mine. Okay. And I'm like, either I'm going crazy or she's just delusional okay like one or the other, one or the other. you know so uh -huh. i need to i need to tune in to see everything that i missed okay clearly i missed a lot 